all about you. Welcome to Cobra Kai Canada. I am your host, Alir, and today my guest is Gianna Graziano, who plays Lindsay on Cobra Kai. Welcome back to the show, Gianna. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so Gianna, let me ask you, how many times have you watched Cobra Kai season five? Season five? Well, the first part once, the second half, the episodes that where you like really, really see me, probably like three or four times. I gotta go back and get like screen grabs, you know? Oh man, I've okay, I've binged it twice already, and I am re-watching it for the third time, uh, starting last night. Yeah. Don't binge it this time, spread it out. So this way you can like really Yeah, it's just on the episodes. Yeah, you're right, actually. And um, that's a problem I always have because then I binge it and then I'm like, wait, I got to go back. I don't remember yeah. everything because it's just like a cluster F of just yeah, information. Definitely. But uh, that just like, that's how good the show is, right? Like, especially when I'm binging it for the third time. And so it was released yeah. September 9th, so 12 days. And it's, oh, and by the way, still the number one show, depending that's on what, what part of the world. That's what I keep doing. I keep going back on Netflix to check if it's number one. And it is. Yeah. it's all, We need to here. get it to last as long as we can. De yeah, definitely up here in Canada. Still number one, 12 days Yay. since the release. And yeah, I'm multiple sure. countries too. Yeah, Not man. Not just the United States. That's, that's yeah. yeah. Uh, Joy, let me ask you something now. Do you like watching yourself on Cobra Kai? I mean... <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, I do. It's just like I'm very judgmental. So I'll look at what I'm doing and then I'll think I can do better or I wish I would have done something differently or I'll, I'll rehearse it in my head. But that, I'm, I'm very opinionated on myself. You know, you're your worst critic. So, but oh, I think, yes, I do enjoy seeing my face pop up on the screen. That, that's so interesting. Let, let me tell you a story. Every time. I interview actors or actresses. I ask them this question on purpose. Now, the majority is a lot of them don't like to watch themselves. I've noticed yeah. that a lot. And I was like, dude, like if that was on a show like Cobra Kai, for example, I'd be like, yo, cuz, get over here. You know, I'd yeah. like, yeah, look, I have a controller in my hand. I'd, be, I'd pause <laughs> it at the part I am. And I'd be like, hey, man, come here. I'd be like, I want you to see this part. I'd be like, this is the part where me me kicking Miguel's face and him going crying to Yeah, his mom. I basically do that. I'll go back and I'll <laughs> rewind the specific parts. Yeah. Even though like, my mom and my dad say that they watch the show, I'll be like, but did you see me doing the burpees next to Peyton List? Like, did you see that? Like, did you see me splash water on Hawk? All oh, that. man. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know, man. Maybe because I'm not an actor, so maybe I'm just talking out of my butt but like <laughs> yeah i think but it would I, be different if i had a line though like if i had a really big part where my face was like really up close on the screen then i'd probably be like Ugh. yeah well you're in a lot of scenes and not to mention you are in the promo as well oh yeah yes mm -hmm. yeah fun. so you're in a lot of fun. uh stuff um first and foremost um gianna congratulations on a brilliant performance uh, I know how hard you work and how dedicated you are to the show. And I think your like fellow uh, Cobra Kai cast members deserve more credit than you, than you guys get. Like, I, do um, agree, yeah. I think you guys are the backbone of the show and I don't want you guys to think you guys are like unnoticed or anything because you guys are totally not unnoticed. Uh, you guys rock and you guys did an amazing, amazing show. Yeah. Def you. Definitely back. Yes, we all worked so hard. Yes. And just remember, this is not a one man, one woman show. You guys are the backbone. So it's a, you know, it's a team effort and you guys killed it yes. this season. So yeah, definitely. So um, Gianna, uh, I know, uh, oh, actually, how much of an influence has the Cobra Kai show been, uh, not just in your daily life, but also in your acting career? Because I know like your, uh, your family are like huge karate kid fans yes as well. it definitely it brings it brings a little bit of a little white spotlight on you for a few months it's great because everyone is like oh i saw you on cobra kai even my teachers <laughs> in high school there's mm -hmm. one uh teacher that was it was he was like my geography teacher okay. i didn't love his class but i loved him as a person and my right. mom works at the school and he is constantly like i saw gianna do a kick on cobra kai yeah. she deserves it and Blah, blah, yeah. blah. So it, it's great. It's cool to see everyone kind of come together for just one fun little show yeah. and see someone from like such a small community. 
that's awesome and yeah see like what i mean friends family everybody's like so like familiarized with like all the characters on the show including yourself and and that's so awesome man just random people coming up to you hey i see you on cobra kai that probably just like you know makes your whole day at least it would make my whole day (laughs) it makes it all worth it yeah definitely so now gianna like uh your Lindsay character has been on a roller coaster ride um since arriving in uh, cobra kai season uh, four you went from having like one sensei to being introduced to another with terry Sil- silver's arrival mm-hmm. obviously winning the 51st annual uh, all valley tournament with a uh, team competition and uh sensei crease thrown in prison uh now silver may be heading there we'll talk about that lady why i say maybe uh in that direction as well yeah they didn't uh, actually show him go into jail that's right yeah and uh we just know he's arrested and and remember like terry silver is a powerful guy he can buy the judicial system don't let that don't let that fool you and uh oh in the end you guys uh abandoned Cobra Kai. So what are your thoughts on this whole Lindsay character? Like your Lindsay character has been through, like like I said earlier, just a roller coaster it's ride. crazy. We all quit. We all quit Cobra Kai. <laughs> so we don't know what's going to happen. Oh my but, God. Yeah, she's definitely been on a roller coaster because she came in with Piper mm-hmm. and became friends with Tori. So it was like the three girl group and then along with Charlotte, which is played by Phoebe. Phoebe, yeah. And then we get a bunch of other girls and other guys. So she kind of gets lost in the crowd and Silver tries to make (laughs) the biggest karate class ever. Yeah. And and then we go from one sensei to two senseis back to one to like a bunch. Mm -hmm. But it's fun because we get to work with new people and definitely. Yeah, definitely. Ups, ups the challenge. So that's cool. And um, yeah, like I was saying, like, you know, your character has been like almost like through like, like, the, like hell as well, because like, you know, what I mean, you're, you're, you're Terry Silver, your sensei. Uh, well, I should say your former sensei uh, has been exposed, but like, that was the you, hardest part. <laughs> yeah. But like, can you blame the guy for just wanting a, a, a like a successful dojo? Come on. Like, let's, let's That's be real. Yeah. Really want to win. He'll yeah, do whatever definitely. it takes, and he definitely did whatever it takes. So he, he has. Like, on, he can't really, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He did like, what it took to win. Think of it. He's provided you guys state of the art dojo equipment. Uh, yeah, we have ha- snacks. We have a smoothie bar. Yeah, pro protein a treadmill, shakes. We have, we have a, a dojo double the size. Yeah, protein shakes. Yeah, man. Who, yeah. Who, who can say no to that? Yeah. That, let me ask you something. Now that like that little bar that you guys had in the back there, like. Was, was there actual stuff like drinks and food there? Yeah, the one scene where Mitch comes in and we're like, hey, and we're drinking smoothies. Yeah. We all, like us three girls, we all would like take a sip every now and then. It was like, it was actual juice. Like it was oh, wow. a real smoothie. That's so cool. And I think they kept them in there for a while. I think the oranges were fake though. The snake bites right. were real though. Right. Those were real snacks. What like, kind of snacks were those exactly? I've seen some photos, but I can't make out what they were. I think they're like little protein balls. Like oh, they look like they look like brownies almost, but they're I not. Thought they like, were, <laughs> I thought they were like beef jerky or something. Yeah, no, no, they're it's like dirt almost. It's, <laughs> okay, I remember because Joe had to eat them, and he was like, "Dude, these are disgusting." Oh, man, it was that bad. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. but I would say like ninety five percent of that little snack bar was real. Oh man, I wonder who, yeah, I wonder who whipped up that batch, man. Jeez, <laughs> you have to eat it. Well, it's just because we were on set for so long that they were just sitting there and he kept yeah. like pressing the blender. Right, like, right. What he had to do. So they oh. just kept getting like more mixed. I don't know. It, it wasn't good. It was gross. <laughs> I got it. So, um, so, um, Gianna, uh, after you finished filming, um, uh, uh, Cobra Kai season four and five. <laughs> I have to say four and five because it was a long stretch. Yeah. And uh, funny enough, I, it was funny because when I interviewed you the last time, we were talking about like season four. 
me not knowing that you guys had already filmed season five. And I was just like, what the hell? I, now that I know, right? Obviously, you guys well, can't say. Did you interview but, me when we had already finished season five? Yeah, it was back in like uh, January and February because you guys released uh, season four on December 25th of 2021. And I, and I interviewed you like right after. And you guys yeah, we started in September. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, for the people watching, like um, uh, actors and actresses such as yourself, um, they go through this thing. It's called NDA for people that don't know. Like, uh, so don't ask these <laughs> these cast members. You know, when season six or seven or eight coming out because you know you guys are not obligated to say anything because you guys could get sued and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So people respect that and like you know what I mean it's it's I know it's hard for you guys. I know you guys are like yes. excited. So obviously you guys want to like tell the world agreements. But yeah, so like uh, you know that's a little like fun fact for today so like go easy on these guys yeah and here so, we are talking about season five months yeah, later yeah after it came out. so yeah it's the worth big the three. wait it's always yeah, worth the wait that's the thing is. i Definitely. don't like it when people spoil and i hate that everyone yes i know there's a couple channels out there that love to do these like spoilers and stuff like that yeah i kept seeing people i don't like that spoilers but i didn't yes. actually see any of the spoilers so hopefully with they did a good job pushing those down. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, I have faith in the big three. They've led us this far and they're doing a tremendous job. And it's, it is worth the wait guys. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, like if, it. why would you want to know? Like, you know, what's the point of it? If you already know, you know what I mean? It just but ruins the fun. The point of watching the TV yeah, show. I don't get what they, I, I guess, you know, some people do it for clickbait and I guess they think they're cool and stuff like that. Stop it, guys. You're free to do what yeah, you want. But... They're like the coolest person ever. With yeah. Everyone. yeah, it's like, you know, I mean, uh, you're not going to get a, you know, award or free Especially if something as big as like who wins the tournament. Yeah, I don't want to know. I want to watch it. Yeah, is... definitely. That crosses yeah. a big line. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, the question. Back to the question. We got. Um, so after uh, filming season four and season five, uh, I know you've been active in martial arts. Now, is this something that has been recent or after you uh, finished season uh, four and five filming? So mostly after season five, because during okay, season so five they kind of gave me stunts, but mm -hmm. it, it got to the point where they ended up taking it away, like okay. a week after. Okay. So it, it got to the point and they, there were some, you know, some things that were said saying, oh, we'll, we'll bring you on for season six. So in my mind, you know, me trying to get up there as fast as I can with, um, you know, the Cobra Kai <sighs> pyramid. Yeah. I took that as, okay, I need to start training as much as I can, whatever up that means. Game. I've always yeah. been very athletic since since before season four, I've been, I've liked to work out and, sure. you know, be, be on my feet, but I haven't really done any martial arts. Okay. So after season five, I took that as my initiative to start taking um, class, which is like five minutes down the road from me mm -hmm. at uh, Method Karate. Mm -hmm. up to them. Mm -hmm. And I've been taking Shotoken Karate, which is the Okinawan Karate. It's from Japan. Oh, it's wow. Like interesting. Karate. Very interesting. <laughs> Yes. So I so, took that for a few months and learned oh, a lot. Cool. And it's going to help with my technique for on screen. So yeah, definitely. And whatever the future holds for, for Cobra Kai. When, when and if, is. yeah, when and if there is like a season six. And uh, well, Gianna, I do have a clip of you doing martial arts. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. I believe you have more potential than any of them. <laughs> <laughs> What's Terry Silver doing there? <laughs> Wait, when you showed up, oh my goodness. You like that, huh? You are a funny character. <laughs> yeah, there. man. So is, is that true, what he just said? Yes, I have so much potential. 
I just need to show it to the world. <laughs> oh man, that was great. Yeah, That's Terry funny. Silver. Terry Silver has entered our. our I interview. forgot I posted that. I was like, wait, what is he gonna show? <laughs> I was like, probably, is he gonna show little clips from Cobra, Cobra Kai? Kai? That's what I figured you would have thought. But uh, yeah, that's really that's cool. Good. So, so that's Bethic Karate, as I saw in the background. Hey, you, yes. you, you abandoned Cobra Kai. <laughs> So you went to Method Karate. You went to Method yeah, Karate. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I hope Terry doesn't see this or or crease. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe he'll see my potential and he'll want me back. He he did say that you know you have a lot of potential. No, we don't know anybody. what happens after we all quit Cobra guys. So yeah, definitely. We all went to separate dojos, and he brings back the ones that he knows has oh, the most. Oh man, beautiful. yeah. But that, that that's cool. Like I I liked uh, watching that little clip. Um, you definitely seem like you know what you're doing, and you seem like like a legit pro. Yeah, that's actually a black belt kata. <laughs> okay, that's so really cool. I only cool. got up to my orange belt. But okay. I knew that I was, I learned very quickly. I pick things up very quickly because I'm a dancer. So okay. I take it as choreography and I'm able to learn it pretty, pretty fast paced. So yeah, I was so talking that's... to my sensei about how I wanted to create some sort of a reel, like a fight reel. Definitely. And, and I thought, you know, why don't I just try the hardest kata there is out there or the highest level? Oh, for sure. Definitely. So that kata is called empty. And it's called, mm -hmm. it means flying swallow. So it's like you're flying. Hmm, I never heard of that. Very yeah, interesting. So that's, I that's... figured I'd do that one and learned it and recorded it for my reels. That's so cool. Now, like uh, the students and stuff like that are there that you train with, do, do a lot of them know that you're on Cobra Kai and, <laughs> on the show? Yes. Yes. They look, oh, the it just went black for a second. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Totally, totally going on. It stopped for like oh, okay. two seconds. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I literally, I came in the first day and everyone was kind of looking at me weird, but no one was saying anything. And then after the class, my sensei came up to me and he was like, I know who you are. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what do you mean? And he was like, do you want to remain anonymous or can I tell the class? Oh, so he, man. Yeah, he was very sweet. He uh, So we like lined up to take, to do our, um, or bow or whatever. Sure. And he was like, well, we have a very special guest. And he like announced it to the class and all the kids were like, oh. oh I'm the oldest, they're all like 14, 15. So that's pretty much their age group that they watch. Right. right. That's yeah, so they cool. All, they all <sighs> ask a lot yeah. of questions. Oh, I numbers. can imagine. Yeah, probably the typical, hey, what's going to happen in season, well, at the time, probably season five and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Right? <laughs> oh, wow. that's great, man. Cool story. Yeah, so now, cool. Gianna, um, uh, I heard through the grapevine. Well, you're not, you're not, you don't seem like a, like a, like a troublemaker or anything. Um, I've known you for like, you know, for a while. So <laughs> I've heard through the, the grapevine. Of a troublemaker. Those are my <laughs> My older three brothers, I have three older brothers. Those are the troublemakers. I was okay. the angel in the house. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I heard through the grapevine, uh, but never got like uh, full details on it because I wanted to hear it from the source. Uh, what's this I hear about your jacket being caught on fire and melted on set? <laughs> oh my God. You don't even know. <laughs> so let me explain. Sure. I, I want to hear this. It wasn't my fault. It was okay. So it was so so cold that night we filmed the fire truck. Uh, la the last fire episode, truck right? The last episode, yeah. Episode ten. Okay. Where everyone's got like the safety blankets and okay, all of that. Um, well, as you know, me, Austin, and Phoebe were all hiding in the fire truck because it was just so cold, and we knew we weren't needed in the scene. So, like, when Chosen comes out of the limo and. Yeah. You see Johnny, that fire truck in the back, we're all hiding there while they're filming. We're in the, the truck trying to stay warm. Right. And at that point, I still had my jacket. And then I was like, you know what? I'm getting hungry. Let's go to Crafty. We hear them call <laughs> cut. We're like, let's go. So we go to Crafty, get whatever snacks, okay. an Uncrustable, whatever. Okay. And then I go and I stand by the heater. We have these giant heaters that are like this this wide right. like two three feet tall and they stand on like a tripod almost looking kind of thing i don't sure. know what computers are called but they're giant and they project a right. lot of heat yeah it was like those portal not a very things. small person i get cold very easily so i require the most heat <laughs> okay so i stand right up against that heater 
I turn around and I'm just like embracing the warmth. <laughs> and then I turn back around and everyone's like, What's that smell? Wait, what is that smell? <laughs> and I'm like, What do you mean? And right. I think it was Joe Suarez. He's the one with the curly hair. Yeah, yeah, I know him. I talked yeah. to him. Yeah. Your jacket is like totally like melted. So I take off my jacket and I look and it's just got, it's like the, I, the seams and all the fibers like melted and like, oh it looked like the, the upside down in Stranger Things. Like it was like oh. upside down. This oh, was a pearl and it was like all black and it was a giant <laughs> hole, like a oh, giant. Oh, it was all like crispy and everything. What and yeah, that's it, didn't, it, it, it didn't go in like flames or anything did it it didn't go up in flames Ooh. it just melted <laughs> I was gonna on say, my, you... while i was wearing it and i was like yeah was very hot like yeah oh man because like i, I would have thought like you'd have to like what, what do they say like uh go on the floor and start rolling and stuff and yeah, like, like, step, step and roll. yeah yeah i don't know if that's thank true. god because if there really was a fire then there probably would have been a Problem. Oh man, like, that, that's crazy! Anything. Yeah, that's crazy. I, think, I mean, we, there could have been flames, and I didn't know, and I, I don't know. Definitely, I, it was just it was because it was behind me the whole time, and I was just embracing the heat. I was like, I'm standing closest to it. Sorry, everyone. And oh my god, that's that's a great great story. It. It's a great story, man. It's something you're gonna look back and remember and just laugh at it. Yeah, but then and... I was so cold that I had to keep it on for the rest of the night. I was like, I'm wearing a half burnt jacket right now. <laughs> the hell they didn't have any like clothes on set, like other stuff for you to wear. No, I think I was wearing my hoodie, but it was like that cropped Cobra Kai hoodie. So I was freezing. Okay. <laughs> so I kept wearing it and then I threw it out. Oh like, man! I was like, "There's no that's, way." It's not gonna that's crazy, that. man. See, that's that's one of the reasons I love doing like these podcasts and interviewing you guys. Like, you don't get stories like this like elsewhere. No, and, uh, there's no way, man. That's that's awesome. So, um, yeah. Gianna, I uh, I wrapped up uh, some um, uh, behind the scenes uh, photos of your time on set. Yay. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. Just like a few of them. Uh, the first one, I want you to explain to me what happened because I see bruises on your oh. arm. What the mm -hmm. heck? So, so let's hear this. Okay, so I was fighting Little Red. You know, Little Red, right? Oh, yeah, big Red of course, little red. Big Brother, Big Red, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I was fighting Little Red. This was yeah. the, I think it was the last episode, the big fight in the dojo. We're yep. all running yep. and yep. Yep. Playing, chaos. fighting. Chaos. Yeah. Big the camera's going everywhere. Mm -hmm. so you can't really see it because it's so fast. But me right. and Little Red had the same choreography over okay. it. We didn't really have a wide, vi a dynamic variation of moves that we were doing okay. we were just doing like wax on wax off and blocks sure, sure and i didn't have any um any padding and we kept, oh. he kept hitting here yeah like like on your wax off and then like yeah. blocking it yeah. and we were going really hard because we we're so into it and we kept sure. doing it over and over <laughs> and over again i was like damn this is really hurting right now you're not even hitting me that hard <laughs> and i get home and i'm like <laughs> the bruises appear. All the bruises. And it was like so sore for like two weeks. Oh, wow. Jeez. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. Yeah, but yeah I, I, I could see it there. Yeah, it's it's uh, almost one's like almost near your wrist there. It's pretty pink. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Wow, two weeks. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> yeah, it was so sore. It was very uh, like tender to touch. Yeah, it's okay. So that... It was a quick scene, but, you know, with filming, you got to do it over and De over. Definitely. And over Oh yeah, I can imagine. We just wanted yeah. to like look really good. We well, yeah, we you get hurting you, each other. It was just like we did it so many times. Yeah, that yeah. You guys wanted to perfect it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that for we sure. Went a little too hard. We didn't yeah. know how, how long we were going to be doing it. And yeah, so it wasn't definitely. Very sustainable. Oh man. But yeah. So next pick. Here's the water park. So this is like the very first water park um, day of filming. Yeah, we were there yeah. for like a couple days. It was Definitely. like early in the morning, probably 10 o'clock. It was kind of chilly outside. Right. And the director, Kevin, he's the mm -hmm. blonde one. He was like, I need a cobra. I need just some cobra to uh, get in the lazy river. Just sure. we need to see a cobra. Yeah. Gianna, come here. So I was like the first one in the water, the first one in the lazy river. 
<laughs> and the stunt double like had to like or not the stunt double the um stunt coordinator yeah um ken he okay. was like holding my foot so this way we could get it like going at the perfect time <laughs> and i was like okay so i know i'm gonna be doing this for like multiple times i gotta mm -hmm. get something, get a picture right. so i like go around once and i'm like chance take a picture the next time i come around <laughs> then I'm, now i know i'm coming and i have this one chance to take one picture of me in the lazy river so i pose and i'm like Oh, that's great. That's so awesome. Because it was so yeah. exciting. I was like, I'm the first one in the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And plus the stream, right? Pushing. So yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. And uh next picture, you and your your best friend. Yay, me and Charlotte. I love that shirt they gave her. I was so jealous they gave her red because she looks so awesome. She stands out with that blonde hair and the red. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I love her out. outfit. This was the 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 day we filmed the fight scene. This was when the, the bruises happened. We had okay. like just gotten into costumes and this was our little holding area. That's so cool. Now what what is it? I've been trying to read what it says on her shirt. But does that say like Spitfire? Spitfire? Okay, that's what I figured. Mm -hmm. I was always yeah, I totally forgot to ask her when I interviewed her. I, I didn't have the picture like when uh, I interviewed her, but I noticed it's so like, awesome. Yeah, on the show, I had seen her like running up and down in the last episode. Yeah, the way <laughs> yeah, I saw that, I just see her. It was like a, it was like a cartoon. It was like yeah, a road, she's road running, runner. Chance is flying over yeah. people. He's doing parkour. Yeah, I saw. I'm that. fighting five different people. I throw like a few kicks to Miyagi Do's. That's awesome. So yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. You got you totally kicked their butt. So. Oh man! So uh, fire truck. Okay, that's so the now, jacket. This is the, oh, that's the one. The one that you're wearing. Oh, wow. that thing looks huge on you. What the? Heck? Yeah, it's not mine. It's my older brother's army jacket or marine okay. jacket. Because <laughs> well, so, it was giant and it was fall-ish, and yeah. I had like I like you know I don't live in Atlanta, so right. I didn't bring enough clothes mm -hmm. to keep myself warm oh, yeah. so i drove up like to south carolina for it was like a four-hour drive to see yeah. my brother and he gave me this coat okay and you had to go, had to go over it's my giant a, coat that for a jacket That's not crazy. last very long uh, yeah what's going on over there in atlanta i gotta, I gotta have a chat with these people down yeah there, but man. this is the this is the fire truck i was talking about <laughs> that we were hiding in we were having so much you guys fun. are goofing around in the, you guys didn't take it for a joy right now did you <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wish we did. I wish we That'd be so fun. But then everyone on the crew would kill us because then they have to be like, you moved it. So yeah. It's crack. It's not. Oh man. Yeah. I, I remember the last episode with the fire truck and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, this next picture, I like it because it's like the whole, practically the whole crew, right? The whole, and, basically, the oh, we're missing a few people. Yeah, we're there is a few AJ. people. Is, we're missing Chris. Okay. And we're missing Craig. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, what about, is Peyton there? I don't see her unless I'm blind. Is no, I, I think Joy yeah, was filming something yeah. else. I don't yeah, think we, she we was in there. Mary, mm -hmm. Jacob. Yeah, yeah. I see and Tanner then. there in the front. Uh, yeah, we're missing a few people. Yeah, there is quite a few people, but, but more, more than, yeah, there's a lot still. Almost. It's mainly, it's mainly all the stunt fighters that, yeah. we, that we used in the last scene. And then at the right. bottom right, that's the whole core group of yeah. co-workers. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That's a that's a. Cool oh, in picture. Dallas. Yeah. Okay, I see him. Yeah, next to Owen there. Yeah, I see him right there. Okay, Una. Yeah, she's in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, AJ cool. is there. Is he? Yes, he's right in the middle. I didn't even realize. Okay, there. Uh, yeah, I see right him. I see him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see him right there. Yeah. Okay, cool. I feel yeah, like that's big a... red is the one we're missing because there's little red. Yeah, right. You can't miss that guy. It's like every time I look, I, I find another person. Yeah, yeah, I that's what I feel like. In the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great that's man great that is cool and now uh, oh i like this picture because it's uh i think it's you in episode eight tai kai correct me if i'm wrong there it is oh yes the smoothies yeah and there's uh reagan mm -hmm. and far left there and yeah, this is pretty cool. So there's the bar that we're. <laughs> there's our little smoothie bar. Yeah, so With that's pretty cool. Hot smoothies. Oh man, this is this is so awesome. I love like this behind the scenes stuff and 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 you know, it's just just totally fun. And... Yeah, we did so many different takes of that because they were like, do one where you're like angry, do one where you're like pouty, do one where you're like sexy, or another one where you're flirty. Like, we did so right. many different ones. We did yeah. the show them we're like. Yeah, because this is the scene where Mitch, that he wasn't Cobra Kai at the time, uh, he walks yeah. in and he's just like kind of like staring at you guys, looking at you guys, and you just you know, this like, is the about the chicks, the chicks, <laughs> yeah. 
or or is it the the protein stuff bar and all that stuff in there? Oh yeah, the, the bonsai bites or whatever they are, the yeah. cobra bites. Yeah. I don't remember what they're called. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, that's so cool. I, I love I love those behind the scenes uh, uh, photos. Now, Gianna, did you get to do like your your like own stunts uh, this season? Like totally like. Just legit. Oh, no, you. no, I didn't have a stunt double. I did any any choreography they gave me or any fighting they gave mm -hmm. me. I did. That's so cool. And mm -hmm. um, in the last scene, you said you fought Little Red. Was there anybody else that you kind of mixed it up with, or? Oh yeah, I. F There's one where you literally you see me throw a kick to a Miyagi Do. He has like a blue hoodie on. Okay. Um, I'm trying to wonder, who, think who that was. Oh, I fight, uh, I fight, oh, what's his name? I fight a lot of the Miyagi Do's. Mm -hmm. I don't think I fought any Eagle Fangs. Okay. Any, anyone, anyone with the blue hoodies. Okay. Yeah, they, I definitely got to put me up against. That's so cool. It was like different every time. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, like I was saying, it was totally, total chaos. There was so much stuff going on. It was like punches thrown, kicks flying everywhere. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was crazy. So now, uh, Gianna, like season five ended in the best, possible way like season five was just tremendous my fit you left far, it wide open it's great completely so now there are more questions than answers i feel like because uh for example uh we we know crease is innocent uh he escaped prison so does that make him a fugitive despite of his like you know the allegations are on him that which are he's not innocent, true but he's also guilty of other things well yeah yeah <laughs> and um uh let's see here there's uh uh terry silver's going away or is he as i mentioned earlier uh or because with his, yeah because with his money you know he could buy the whole damn Such judicial system one. yeah and um is cobra kai going to compete at the tai kai still uh you know these are just like examples uh what are your thoughts on it has to on the name of the show cobra kai <laughs> you have to fight yeah definitely it's just like who's gonna fight because we all quit so that's the question yeah that's 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 the main question and like like i said because like you know like okay Kree saw you know he faked his death and this is not the first time he's faked his death uh he's done that like even in karate kid three and and like i guess he's faked his death three times from 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 what i from what i heard so man's immortal yeah definitely and um despite like uh you know stingray kind of like finally kind of telling the truth and Stingray everything. Stingray was great this season. Yeah, he was. He was. Amazing. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so, yeah, like I said, there's like a lot of more questions than answers, but it's cool. Like, you know, they did it on purpose. Uh, you know, if there is like a season six and stuff like it, there's a lot, you know, we had the return of Mike Barnes. That was so cool. Uh, the long awaited return of Mike Barnes. Yeah. And Chosen yeah. was hilarious, man. Like that guy just like. We needed Chosen because he has the Miyagi Do. Yeah. What a blessing. Legacy. Yeah. He, he had, he's that, that comedic relief who's also like mm -hmm. got the legacy of Miyagi Do. Yeah, de yeah, so, definitely somebody to like carry it on. And, he's got and like he's, the brains, but he's also like hysterically funny. Oh yeah, and he's an OG, so like you know what I mean. I've, actually, you know what? Yeah. All the, the all the OGs on the show are just like freaking hilarious, man. It was just funny, man. My mm -hmm. one of my uh, one of my favorites. It was totally like I had a lot of favorite scenes, obviously, right? Season five, and uh, I just liked uh, the whole party scene. Uh, you know, cousin Louis through 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 a party. He's he's cousin Vanessa. Yeah, co co yeah, cousin Ness. She was there, and like I love I love cousin Louis. He reminds me of my cousins totally. Like yeah, he's like that's like my family. That I come yeah, from like an American exactly, family. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And we're all from New York. Like, right. Yeah. That's, that's my family dinner. Like the cousin Louie is my cousin Louie. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I loved him. I, I actually I always I always tell everyone I'm like, I'm supposed to be playing Ralph Macchio's daughter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I remember I remember that from the uh when when I asked you the first interview, I was like, you know, if, if you know what dojo would you join if there was cover? You're like, yeah, 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 you know, and I called you Lindsay LaRusso because I know you have because <laughs> I know you love Ralph. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, I know that. So, but uh, yeah, cousin Louie was hilarious, man. And you know, he got the Reggie's. Uh, what was it like, ride or die, or something? Yeah, like that, that. that whole party scene was just amazing. Yeah, when cousin was like, "I'll have a Long Island iced tea." Yeah, yeah, he's he's funny, man. And uh, I just liked it because, you know, it seemed like you know uh, they were just really actually having a good time. Like they could just like be themselves. It, it honestly did yeah. seem like they were being themselves in that scene. And. Definitely. Uh, 
definitely. And uh, I, I hope there's like more more seasons. Definitely, I want to see. Oh, more I love how we also got a, a little bit of um, Chosen's like love story. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a, that was a shocker. Yeah, that was definitely. Yeah, he uh, was like the only single guy. Yeah, I felt bad for him. He was like yeah. fifth wheeling. I felt bad, but you know what? When he was on the dance floor, I was on. I was laughing my ass off. Yeah, was, everybody like, jumping on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah, I was just laughing. See, that's what I mean. Everybody was having a good time, and and you know, like uh, when like Johnny, uh, Daniel, and uh, Chosen, they were in the limousine and they were singing the "Eye of the Tiger" song. That was funny as hell. How funny was that? Yeah, that's like, them. like it was great. Yeah. It was great, man. I, I loved it, man. And like, I see, loved like, all the wacky references this season. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, like I love the show so much, man. It's hilarious. It has like it has everything, Gianna. Like comedy, suspense action like what more do you want Drama. everything and Light it's just scenes. yeah and they, got, uh, and they and they and they throw that all within 30 minutes like isn't that incredible it's nuts i don't understand how they can possibly fit it all into their little 30 minute time slot definitely definitely right. yeah and uh john i don't want to take like too much more of your time but um i know you've been doing a lot of like theatrical work so do you mm -hmm. want to like tell us about that? Like this is pretty cool. I've seen a couple like Instagram posts and, sure. and I'm like baffled. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like off Broadway, right? Yes, I just did my first off Broadway show at the yeah. Soho Playhouse. I yeah. was I played three different roles and I swung in for two of them mm -hmm. and was an understudy for the lead. Oh, so cool. what had happened was I had normally played um, in the ensemble as just like a model wearing mm -hmm. the clothes of like the fashion show. Okay. Cause it was about a fashion um, designer. Okay. And then the director was like, can you go on for this character that you don't cover for? And can you oh. learn it in like it's just two like a hours last minute thing. On in like three hours. So oh. on the train right there, I had to like learn a whole new script and I went on for a different character that he ended up, keeping me as that character up until the day I had to go on for the lead, which Holy. was the character I had been prepared for, preparing for, for like two weeks. And it was definitely, I had to bring a lot of my Cobra Kai into it actually, because oh, I'm so cool. Do my, yeah. Because when I do my live theater stuff, I usually do like happy musicals and this was just a play and it was oh. a very dark character. And I had to bring a lot of angst and anger and sure big 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 energy strong female lead so that was different um and then i did a musical called why do fools fall in love this summer at a cool. dinner theater so two totally different things wow this is and amazing. right now i'm doing dark dark nights at hershey park so that's on the weekends and i am a scare actor in a haunted house at that's hershey so park <laughs> that's awesome Mm -hmm. Wow. So now these these uh, theatrical plays like in Soho, this was in New York, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. Now, Gianna, is like Broadway something like you you really enjoy and you just want to like fulfill like completely as a as an actress? Yeah, that's always been my number one since oh. I was 12, 13 oh, wow. years old. Broadway is so musical cool. theater is like wow. my number number one. And until I got onto Cobra Kai, I didn't really have an interest in doing tv film that much okay now i definitely want it to i want to do it all in i want to do well, it all yeah it will yeah. always be my number one goal wow man that's that i, I like to hear that that that's cool and you yeah. got like, so many options you totally know like you different. Said, yeah cobra kai theatrical plays man and this is this is cool you, you're keeping busy and you enjoy what you're doing and i like to hear that and uh congratulations Gianna. that's Thank that's you. really cool so uh Gianna, i want to like once again, thank you for coming on the show. Like, uh, this was totally fun, man. We got to see like a clip of you uh, at, at your uh, dojo and some behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, that was so fun. I'm so happy you included that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when and if there is a season six, I would definitely love to have you back. Uh, and, uh, yes, we have to. Yeah, definitely. And I, I really enjoy talking to you. I love your energy. And I, honestly, every time I talk to you, I feel like I'm talking to my relative. It's hilarious. <laughs> All the time. It's funny. Oh. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, once again. Thanks for uh, coming on the show, um, Gianna. And definitely uh, keep me posted with uh, more of your like theatrical plays if, if 
there's more Absolutely. down the road, man. I'd love to see I'm that. Always auditioning, so we'll yeah, see. Yeah, definitely. Next after who this. knows? Yeah, okay. who knows? Maybe you'll head up to like Toronto one day for a play and something. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. But now I got to make the trip down south, so I got to go to New York and watch. I'm not opposed so. to it. I want to yeah. travel more. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So, so uh, yeah. So that's uh, once again, thanks uh, for coming on the show, Gianna, and uh, that is it for Cobra Kai Canada. Thank Peace. you for having me.